Welcome back to another Public Golfers YouTube video. Little voice over here as we continue the quest to break par. Episode number nine, our last chance to break par of the 2021 season out here at the bog up in Sockville, Wisconsin, an Arnold Palmer design course. And we start off hole number one, par five, with a nice tee off right over the bunkers. Um, it is in the middle of late October uh, or November, so it's a little bit colder, so the ball is not flying as far. But we have a three iron in here to about 230 here. Um, I think 230, or it might have been 220, but. Honestly, pretty good swing for the uh, first long iron of the day. I leave the face a little open so it goes right. And one of the things you'll see about this course is there's a ton of bunkers. It's actually the only Arnold Palmer design course in Wisconsin. So a lot of bunkers and we find one here early and a little foreshadowing. We will find a lot more, but about 50 yards here. Just trying to get down the green, give ourselves a chance for a birdie on the first. Pretty good contact was just focusing on hitting the ball first and we're on the green here with about a 15 20 foot putt for par or excuse me for birdie on the first never started a quest to break par with birdie so looking here to start on the right foot here um, at the bog Unfortunately, we pull the putt a little bit. I thought it was going to break a little bit more. We do make that putt coming back to start off with par. Uh, I didn't mention, but we are playing from the gold tees. Uh, so it's about 3,400 yards out. This hole, number two, par four, 372. However, you have to lay up since there is a dip before the green. And we oh, slip. <laughs> so was just trying to do a little bit too much there again anything 185 to 220 out is fine so uh we have about 205 i believe if i remember correctly two 205 210 here into the pin a little downhill a little bit of a cross breeze we have five iron and we hit the best shot of the day honestly great strike felt good um unfortunately i think we land on a little bit a little bit further right than I thought from the shot. That is actually not my ball. I originally thought it was, but my ball is actually over there to the left. Uh, so we, again, terrible spot off the tee, but we have a chance for a birdie putt here. Not an easy one. Big right to left down the hill. Uh, really need to work on the speed here. And, yeah, we just we hit a bad putt. And it's going to put us in... A tough position here to save par after having really a great chance. Uh, we got a 12-footer here. Started on the high side. Never gave it a chance. We do put in here. So we're currently one over through two holes. Not terrible seeing that we got into trouble on the first hole and had a little bit of trouble on the second, obviously, with basically duffing the iron. But hole number three here. It is 398, so just under 400 yards. Goes a little bit to the left. My aiming point is the bunkers on the right. With it being a little bit chillier, I, I don't think I can reach those. So it's kind of aim at those and, and swing away. Unfortunately, oh again, we hit it no. thin, but it actually doesn't hurt us as much here. Um, I think we end up with about 178 in. Uh, a lot of these greens, like I had mentioned, a lot of bunkers around them. Uh, there's not a ton of room to miss left or right, so you really need to be on with, with the mid-irons. And this is something I've been working on in the offseason as well. But we make pretty decent contact again. Um, but we are just off to the right here in a bunker. As you can see, the luck is on our side. We get a beautiful plugged lie here. My thoughts... If we can get this anywhere on the green, I'm going to be extremely happy. We get it out, but we go right into another bunker. So in my mindset, I'm hoping let's not have a blow up hole. Stay calm. Get this up. Even double bogey. Hey, we're plus three after three holes. There's a lot of birdieable holes coming up for me. So just don't screw this up. Huh? 
and see you later, ball. So looking back on it now after rewatching, I do have a nice little chip up here. But having negative thoughts in your head while about to take a shot, probably never a great idea. So I have this putt to save uh, triple bogey. And we just push it to the left a little bit. We do make this coming back uh, pretty nonchalantly as well. So I feel really good with my inside five foot putts. It's just anything outside of that I wasn't super confident in. So we went off there with a plus four. So we're going to the next hole at plus five already. Uh, and it's a long par three here. You can see the bunkers to the right. My aiming point is uh, that kind of middle tree out there, a little bit shorter than the tallest one to the right. Figure hit something right at that with a little bit of a draw. It should come right back into it. I have a six iron, I believe, here for the T. And again, pretty good contact with everything considered. I, I just kind of push it a little right, a little maybe fat on the swing there. But we end up in another bunker, and you will see the bunker play was tough. I don't want to make excuses, but we usually don't get to play this late in the year. So I, I wasn't really practicing at this point. A couple guys asked me to go out, but you'll see this bunker shot is just terrible. If you want to see what not to do, watch this bunker shot. So I decelerate through the ball. I pick up a ton of sand and I land in the bunker in front. So here I'm just saying, get something on the green, try to say bogey, go on to the next hole. We hit again, a pretty good shot. All things considered, you can't really be too upset with what is transpiring here. So we have a putt here for bogey. And unfortunately, it's just not good enough. So those are the putts you got to make. We go, uh, so we get a double bogey there. We're at plus seven already. Heading into hole number five, which is a 422 par five. The hole goes slightly to the left. During the summer, if you keep it out right, you can go into the woods. So basically your aiming point is those pine trees out there. Or maybe a little bit right if you're going to draw the ball. And again, this one, decent sized fairway. You can let it rip here. We hit a pretty good shot. It's coming back. I get a little concerned, a little worried that I may be in the woods here. But again, thank goodness we're playing in October, November in Wisconsin. The ball just doesn't fly as far. So we have 165 in here. I believe I have a eight iron and I hit a pretty good shot. I mean, it's, it lands, looks like it's right on target. Uh, I later find out that it was actually 155, not 165. So I am actually way over the green. I get lucky that it lands in the bunker. Otherwise it may have been gone. But the biggest question is, Will my struggles continue out of the bunker, or can I pull it back here and try to recover this round? The answer Whoa. is no. I thin it almost all the way through the green. I take the walk of shame here. Again, the bunkers were just not treating me well. It's something that I know I need to work on. I lose strokes out of the bunkers. So I need to work on that. And unfortunately, I missed this next shot. I actually hit a really nice little chip up, run it up pretty close to the hole here and have a chance here to save bogey. And again, pretty solid inside like that five to eight feet. Make that leave with a bogey. We're at plus eight and heading to hole number six, 415, par four. A little bit to the right here, uh, your aiming point, excuse me, to the left, your aiming point is that tree dead down the middle of the fairway. You hit that with a little bit of draw, you should be in a good spot. Again, just leave it open. And we end up okay, as I didn't hit it the greatest. So we have about 130 in. Uh, the tree is not really a factor with a pitching wedge, which is what I'm using. I should be able to get that up and over pretty easily here so really want to be aggressive and 
and I I just don't hit it great. It's not a terrible contact again, but I just don't take into account that it is colder. The ball's just not flying as far today. So we end up a little short here, and I actually, when I get down there, I realize I'm on basically a dirt. Um, again, with it being late in the year, it's tough to grow grass in Wisconsin in late October, November. The course was in great condition outside of, hey, you don't land on the green, you end up in these little spots where it can be a little tough. So I just think, hey, if I punch it into this hill and kind of roll it up, that may be my best bet. And it comes up. It just comes a little bit quicker than I think. So I do have this putt for par. Again, if I want to break par next year, as we can assume it's not going to happen here, I need to get better at making these putts. This one's just a right to lefter. I never give it a shot, never give it a run. Uh, speed wasn't terrible. As you can see, I have just a little bit uphill coming back, which, of course, I drained that pretty solidly. So another bogey up on the board at this point. I can't even keep up counting, but we're at hole seven, which is a par four. It's a 409 par four, so a shorter par four. This is one that you can be aggressive on. It's a little bit to the left. So you start anything on the left side of the building. And if you draw it back a little bit, you're usually in pretty good shape. As long as you don't overdraw it to the left, as you can see, more bunkers. There go. And I hit a good shot here. I mean, unfortunately, it does roll pretty hard to the left. It takes a hard bounce to the left, and, and I end up in the rough. As you can see, the whole fairway is kind of sloped. Usually it doesn't roll that far. But uh, I have about 80 yards here. And in my mind, it's a firm 60-degree wedge. And I get way under it. I know. I need to start clubbing down and using just a 56 and just kind of knock it up there. But that's something I'm working on in the offseason as well. Just my short game in general. Not trying not to full swing a wedge, if at all possible. I know you've seen in a lot of the other quest to break pars, I, I like to take big hack with wedges. So just understanding the club up is going to put me in a better position in a lot of these. But have a little tricky kind of up and down. Again, you'll see me look down and kind of smile. Got a little bit of a bear lie again. But you kind of see some of the dirt pop up there as well. But my thought process, just land it on the front of the green, let it roll up. We got the hill against us, so that should help stop the ball. And I just, I landed a little bit further than I wanted to. And it rolls out a little bit more than what I thought was going to. But again, we got a par putt here. About 15, 20 foot par putt. And again, you're not expecting to make these. But these are ones I, I always want to at least have a shot at. And I hit a, a pretty good putt, you know. A little bit. Speed was really good. Just didn't start it off. I need to start a little bit more left. But we're in with another bogey. And it looks like I'm happy and I'm not. But if you have a chance, play the bog. It's a beautiful course. Uh, also, too, that's a really cool wedding venue there to the right that I just showed you guys. But ton of bunkers, a fun, challenging course. Um, and, yeah, I, I would get out there and play it. It's, it's the only Arnold Palmer designed course in Wisconsin. So definitely worth it. Hole number eight, another par three here, 188 from the gold tees. I'm thinking anything middle of the green is good here. I believe I have a seven iron. It might be a six iron. I, I can't remember. So I hit another, like I said, relatively good swing. Um, I committed to it. I, I just am leaving everything out right. And again, everything's going five to ten yards shorter than what it would during the middle of summer, which... You may be thinking, hey, Justin, no, duh, but I didn't make that change, and that did hurt me throughout the whole round. But we end up in a good spot here. Again, this is something, just thinking, bump it up there, let it run out to the hole. And it's just not good enough. It's frustrating watching this back at how many chances I actually had to, to make something happen during this round, and I just didn't execute, so... That's something I'm working on in the off season, but we do have still a putt for par. 
not a realistically putt that I'm going to make more times than not as we watch Chris here try to drain this putt. I mean, that's a good putt from Chris, too. That's unfortunate. But we do have a par putt here. Just looking to get it close to the hole. Give it a whack. New from the beginning, I didn't have the speed, but again, pretty easy to putt. I, I was proud of myself. I don't think I three putted any holes, mostly because I didn't get to them in time. <laughs> but we're on the last hole here, guys, and I'm just going to let this play out in the background as we uh, have a pretty good tee shot and a pretty good second shot. However, I just wanted to take the time to thank everybody who's been following and watching the quest to break par. Uh, it's a series I started at the beginning of the year, and unfortunately, we didn't reach the goal of, of actually breaking par. Uh, I had some really great rounds outside that I, I didn't film on the camera, that I was kicking myself that I didn't bring the camera with that day, but that's how it is. So I'm excited to continue the quest to break par through the offseason here, as I'll have a few videos of lessons and stuff that I'm taking, as well as different training methods to get my body into shape to hopefully complete the goal and see how low we can go heading throughout the 2022 season. So again, appreciate all the support, all the comments, all the love from people reaching out. Hopefully you got something out of these videos, maybe a laugh, maybe, hey, I could try to do that with my own golf game. Here we are again in the bunker, my biggest nightmare here. But yeah, guys, I, I just wanted to Hey, thank you for the support. And if you are enjoying the series, make sure you do subscribe. That way you don't miss any videos of any future attempts. And also, too, in the comment section below, post any places you think that I should go play for the Quest to Break Par next year. I'm trying not to double up on any courses. However, there's some courses I like and that are pretty close to my house, so I like to play them. We got a putt here for... Uh, I believe birdie by the way and it was a putt was pretty slick but we tap in here for birdie I believe that puts us at plus 11 one of our worst attempts to break par of course at the end of the year but appreciate the support look forward to seeing you guys back next year and look forward to breaking par for you guys Not again. For right.